The drive shafts used in modern truck drive lines consist of many components which typically include the drive shaft tube, drive shaft yokes, slip joints, coupling shafts, center support bearings, universal joints, and fastening systems. The drive shaft tube is hollow and can be made from steel, aluminum, or fiberglass. Steel is the material of choice for the heavy truck market because of its strength. The yoke is the component that allows the drive shaft to be connected to the other components of the drive line. Three types of yokes are prevalent in heavy duty applications tube, end, and flange yokes. Tube yokes are pressed into the drive shaft tube at manufacture and welded in place. End yokes are designed to be installed over the splined output shaft of the transmission, or the splined input shaft of the drive axle. A flange yoke holds two of the universal joint bearing caps and incorporates a flat flange with a series of mounting holes, so that the flange can then be attached to a component. A slip joint is a two-piece splined component consisting of a splined shaft fitted into a splined sleeve. A slip joint allows the drive shaft to lengthen or shorten while operating and is essential in a drive line to accommodate length changes caused by suspension oscillation and the effects of braking and acceleration. A coupling shaft is usually a short drive shaft without a slip joint that is used in a multiple shaft drive line. When a coupling shaft is used, the drive line must also have a hanger center bearing to support the non-drive end of the coupling shaft. The universal or cardan joint is essential to the operation of today's motor vehicles. It's what allows the drive shaft to operate at various angles. The universal joint can be attached to the drive shaft components in several ways. The caps can be press fit into the shaft yoke and be retained with snap rings or clips. Alternatively, the caps can be held in place with straps and bolts or U-bolts and nuts.